Sensory processing disorder is a complex brain condition that affects the way some children react to touch, smell, light, and other stimuli. As you can imagine, it can disrupt a child's world. NJN News health and medical correspondent Sarah Lee Kessler has the story. 11-year-old Sal Esposito, who lives in Matawan, has never liked having his hair combed. And when his mom turns on the vacuum cleaner, forget it. His hands go straight to his ears. It's the way he's been wired since birth. He had a real strong sensitivity to noise. Um, he didn't like to be touched. Uh, certain feelings really bothered him. If the, there were tags in the back of the shirts, it would be something akin to, you know, a little thing, but he would feel it like it was something big and horrible. Sal, seen here with his younger sister Alana and mom Anissa, has something called sensory processing disorder, or SPD. It's a neurological condition that few parents, teachers, or medical professionals understand. I think that it's just a name and some people feel better with, with not saying autism, but I think for a therapist, it's all in the connecting and making the human bond and reattaching it, and the name really doesn't matter. Here we go. Lots of deep pressure. In Sal's case, however, the name does matter. He has Asperger's syndrome, or mild autism, as well as sensory processing disorder. Ann Call, an occupational therapist who's worked with Sal for eight years, says he's benefiting from something called sensory integration therapy. Sensory integration therapy is a means of giving a child the sensory input that they need to be able to process it correctly and more normally. By playing with something as simple as bubble wrap, Sal has managed to master some loud noises. And um, he's, his palate in terms of food, the texture of food, he doesn't have those issues anymore. Um, he's much calmer. He's able to focus. Um, and, and the auditory has actually gotten a lot better. I am the mighty shockwave! I think it's being recognized that sensory integration actually helps with sensory processing disorder, um, that uh, it's not something that can be medicated away, um, that it's something that really helps in daily living. Sarah Lee Kessler, NJN News, Matawan.